welcome to, to the, the Gone, Gone Girl, Girl channel. Thank you for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed the last few weeks of Hawaii vlogs. We had such a great time. This is Natalie, also known as Noodles, my best friend yeah. for life. For life. <laughs> <laughs> Every year we do a trip together mm -hmm. because we live across the country from each other. I live in Maryland near Washington, D.C., the capital, y'all. And I live in Los Angeles, so here we don't get to see each other very often. So mm -hmm. we plan a trip once a year. We are both planning fanatics. And we love planning. Like, I can't even iterate <laughs> to you guys. Sometimes we enjoy <laughs> planning more than the, the execution of the plan. <laughs> When did we start planning Hawaii? Um, we started talking about it actually last year while we were still at Disney. Yes. <laughs> so last year we went to Orlando. We did the whole Harry Potter thing because we love Harry Potter. We love a lot of things. We, we get do. really excited over yes. those. But despite all the planning, I think there were quite a few things that surprised us while we were in Hawaii. What was the most surprising thing for you? Everything. It was just <laughs> completely beautiful. Like... All the scenery is completely breathtaking. The water is so blue. Like, and there's me. fish everywhere. They just yes, come and they're right so up to like you. trusting. Like you're like trying not to touch them. And they're like, hey, it's okay. You're my best fish friend. <laughs> when we went on the dolphin swim, there was this one little yellow fish that was like coming up to me, and I kind of brushed him with my arm, and he was like, whoa, what the crap? <laughs> and I could see he was just like, that's a, that's a big thing swimming. I'm gonna go. <laughs> But they were, like, all around us all the yes. time. It was really cool. And the locals are super friendly, and none of them wear shoes. If you're confused about who's local to Hawaii and who's a tourist, just look at their feet, and if they're wearing shoes, they're a tourist. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest surprise for me was the Japanese influence. Yeah, I had no idea, like, there was such a big japanese population in hawaii but yeah it was, a, it was a pleasant too. surprise like mm -hmm. there's a lot of the signs are actually in english and japanese mm -hmm. um and a lot of stores actually accept yen as a form of payment because the population of japanese there is just so huge right the other thing that really surprised me was how much they love christmas in hawaii yes so it's we were huge. there during december we we're just driving and this tram Full of people in Santa, Santa Claus, Claus outfits come yes. through. They're like, ho, 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 jingle bells. And it's then, like they're jiggling their bells. <laughs> and literally. everyone on the street's like, woo! <laughs> like you think like Aerosmith is driving by. And then like... Because that's a huge <laughs> band right now. <laughs> of all people. Nope. She goes with Aerosmith. <laughs> so anyway, they drive by and we're like, whoa, that's a lot of Santas. And then two more <laughs> trams go by full of Santas. It was so, crazy. It was even more Santas. Yeah. It was insane. It's, it's weird seeing, like, the snowmen and the lights <laughs> in Hawaii. You're like, and then it's like, aloha. <laughs> so one day we were driving and we were just kind of talking about Hawaii in general. And the topic came up that I hadn't seen a chipmunk in Hawaii. Yeah. Here almost a week. And we just now realize we've never seen a squirrel. <laughs> or a chipmunk. Or a chipmunk. Oh, I know why we started talking about this. It was because this guy approached us on the street and he's like, Would you ladies like to go see the chipmunks tonight? <laughs> the chip and we were like, and The we... Chippendales. <laughs> yeah, the Chippendales. <laughs> and we were just talking about how we are well informed about the Chippendales and we happen to know that there are none on this island because we saw the ones in Vegas. And, and she had this whole conversation in the car without this dude. But anyway. <laughs> That led to her thinking, oh, Chip, Chip and Dales, Chip Monks, have we seen any on this island? No, we haven't seen any squirrels or snakes either. And she's like, have you seen a chipmunk while we're here? And I was like, I haven't even seen a squirrel while we're here. And apparently, according to the Google, there are no squirrels in Hawaii. Mm -mm. There are no chipmunks in Hawaii. And guys, None. WTF, there's no snakes in Hawaii. No snakes. You guys don't have to be scared, except there were ginormous spiders. I'm exaggerating, but it was this big. <laughs> This big, this big spider. And, I got and it was on, on her arm. arm and I was like, ah! Can we talk about the highways for a second? Oh. The <laughs> so we rented a car, which is a smart thing to do. We drove all over the island. And I feel like if we had just seen Honolulu or Waikiki, we would have had a really blindsided view of yes. the whole state. Yes. But we went all over and that was great. But the highways themselves <laughs> are terrible. You can only go like 40 miles an hour at the highest. And sometimes, sometimes 50. Ooh, but whew, that's a lot. Um, 
So, too much. Just ask you too So if much. you could, like, go a little bit faster, you could make it across the whole island in no time. Yeah. But no, 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 no. You're going to be going 35 the most of the way. They have these crazy, like, merge lanes are usually, like, the end lane on either side of the highway. Not in Hawaii, you guys. The merge lanes are, like, this middle lane. <laughs> and it just comes to an end in the, in the middle of the highway. And that yeah. completely, like, blew my mind and freaked me out at the same time. Like, well, what? Another thing I really want to talk about are Hawaiian shirts. They were everywhere. Like, people, yeah. not only were there Hawaiian shirts everywhere, but in the window displays, it would be like, come in here to get matching family Hawaiian shirts. Yeah, they're like, dad has a shirt, kid has a little shirt, mom has a whole dress. dress yeah. And I feel like people in the stores and everything wear them because the tourists want to see Hawaiian yeah. shirts in Hawaii. I'd be interested to know if authentic Hawaiians, when they're just off doing their own business, if they're actually going to be wearing one of those shirts. No, they're going to be surfing. <laughs> we saw a lot of dreads there, you guys. Yeah. I almost got, I pretty much had a dread <laughs> after snorkeling at Panama Bay. It was like wrapped around my head and and then you're I, I broke my comb <laughs> <laughs> trying to comb this dread what was the highlight of your trip definitely swimming with the dolphins and seeing the humpback whales and all the sea turtles getting their little shells cleaned by the fishies yeah it was beautiful um if you can't make it out to a wild dolphin swim shout out to wild side specialty they were tours. amazing they're amazing i'll link them below we saw turtles then we saw dolphins then we saw a second pot of dolphins and then over mm-hmm. the radio someone informed them that there were humpback whale sightings and so even though it was time to turn around they were like let's yeah. go let's do it yes and then we saw a whale a humpback whale yeah. breach. breach like completely out of the water <laughs> like like you see on the google pictures and i think we should also reiterate So when we booked this, we did not, no way, no how, wanted to book any type of dolphin swim that was in captivity. No aquariums. No. There's a lot of dolphin swims in aquariums. They're no good. So watch out for that. Dolphins aren't meant to be in captivity. If you you have more questions about that, just watch the documentary Blackfish or The Cove. I'll link those below as well. But we definitely are big supporters of animal rights, and we don't want to see them you know get hurt or do anything that would support them in captivity Mm -hmm. if you look at the ocean and where we were swimming and how far they swam Mm -hmm. even the humpback whales just like within such a small time frame Mm -hmm. there's nothing no captive no captive environment that could really fulfill that space it doesn't exist so Mm -hmm. it's really important if you want to do that that you go out into the wild and experience it really what the coolest thing about this tour is that if you go on some captive thing and you're petting the dolphin like that dolphin is basically a slave there Mm -hmm. if you look in their eyes they just look sad they look sad if you go on a tour like this one these dolphins have the entire ocean to swim away Mm -hmm. and they choose to come towards you they choose to swim with you Mm -hmm. and they're just enjoying your company you're enjoying them and you're visiting their turf so you have to be respectful of where you are it's much more peaceful and if you go to hanama bay please do not stand on the coral no watch the video it says don't stand on me. Don't feed me. Don't, <laughs> Don't do me. it. Don't do it. Overall, I think the amount of people we saw breaking rules that are intended to yeah. be good for the environment was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that you want to talk about? There's no Chipotle in Hawaii, All which right. blew my mind because that means Hawaiians have never had Chipotle. And that makes me sad. Well, they could have had it if they traveled. Why would, if you live in Hawaii, why would you go anywhere else? (laughs) Fair point. We had an amazing time in Hawaii. It was so awesome. It exceeded both of our expectations. Yes. If you are planning on going, especially to Oahu, rent a car. Yes. It's well worth worth it. it. Um, You don't want to just stay in Honolulu or Waikiki. That's definitely, like... The most touristy area. It's yes. very walkable, Waikiki. It's nice to see. Um, but it's, and it has like a lot of designer shops and everything. Definitely, even if you just like rent a car for a day and drive around the island, it's well worth it. Right. We like but. the North Shore the best overall. If we were to go back, I think that's where we would probably stay. Yes. A little less touristy, um, more natural, uh, less people. <laughs> Yes. It was a really fun experience. All mm-hmm. the activities we did worked out. We had yes. great luck with the weather. Yes. I mean, it rains, but it's like a drizzle minute. for a minute. Yeah. And then you get a beautiful rainbow, so it's all worth it. Next year, we have an awesome, awesome trip planned. I'm so excited. Ah! Ah! So, we're both huge Harry Potter fans. Yes. Which is why we were running around Hawaii going, 
Aloha, Mora! <laughs> <laughs> we actually went ahead and pre-bought tickets for the new Harry Potter play in London for December of 2016, so we have to wait a whole year! Uh, but we're going! Yes. <laughs> so next year, for December, that'll be our yearly BFF trip. We're going to London to see Harry Potter! <laughs> but anyway, Hawaii was amazing. We learned that this is called the Shaka, and... There's so, actually several shakas, I think. There are, yeah. But this is the most common. Yes. And, like, when you're driving or something, people don't go thanks. They go... Shaka! So... They don't actually say shaka. No, they don't. That's just... What? That's just what it's called. <laughs> I always thought this just meant, like, gnarly waves, dude. <laughs> Aloha and mahalo for watching! If you haven't already... Subscribe to my channel right over there. We're gonna have so many fun adventures coming up over the next year, and you're gonna miss out if you don't subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> we only saw one Hula dancer. Yeah, the time we were there, so it's we're not very good at this. <laughs> Why are you grabbing my weenus? <laughs>